Hey there YouTube, how's it going? This is Naked All Day. We are now at episode number five in our server play Direwolf 20 mods plus a few extra like reg tech, extra cells, uh, soul shards, and uh, I think it's modular gravity suits or something like that. Anyways, we won't go into too much of that. Hey listen, I've made some changes to the house so let's go over them really quick. I've added a couple barrels up here just to put my coal and charcoal and all my great wood logs since, as you know, if you've been following the series, I use great wood logs to make charcoal because it's a tree that yields a lot of wood with just one chop of the axe. I've also updated some of my chests and we're going to be updating some more chests or upgrading them so they can hold more capacity. Um, I found a solution to this thing running all the time. I, I figured out that if you put a, a lever on it, you could stop this thing from ticking. So if you're like melting a couple different items, what happens is that, let's say tin and copper, for example, if you put them into the smeltery at the same time, the tin will melt faster and this, this thing will start making ingots out of it, but then it takes away from what I calculated the recipe at being and then I don't ma make any bronze because by the time the copper melts all the tin has been smelting into ingots or formed into ingots and then I just get bronze out of it I mean uh, copper out of it so if I turn the ticker off it allows all the metals to mix and then a new alloy is created allowing me to pour bronze ingots which we've been doing um, between episodes I've also taken down some of my furnaces because I know I'm gonna need them pretty soon and some um, recipes Let's see, down here hasn't changed too much. I've started take, you know, fixing the walls and, and the floor by replacing all this nasty stuff with just regular smooth stone. Um, our little ender lily thing has yielded a couple, a couple ender pearls, and we found two more actually while I was out exploring. I've went really, really far and explored quite a bit. And I think I must have found like five or six temples. So um, this took a long time. It took like two or three hours. So yeah, I went pretty far. And um, I started what's going to be our Thumbcraft room, which is going to be outside. If you can see it on the little mini map, it's the square that my arrow is pointing at. It's a pretty big room, isn't it? the size of what I've got going on already without the basement. We'll probably fill this out this episode too or at least get some more work done. I started my cactus production as I said in the last episode. I simply just got up to about 50 different pieces of cactus, planted them all, and once I harvest them I should have a few stacks and that should be more than enough for the, for the time being. So I'll probably harvest that this episode as well. I found a dungeon underneath my house with some spawners. I uh, got the loot out of that, which I was just trying to farm and I heard, you know, the monsters down there, so I just mined through and I, I found this cavern. And uh, yeah, I'm in the process of making sure I don't hear those noises anymore. So that's the changes that I've made. I've done some mining since, and um, my chest is pretty full. Um, you, you'll say, oh, that's not much iron or gold or anything, but I started an overflow chest, so we have more. I've got three and a half stack or two and a half stacks of bronze in here, two full stacks there. I should have enough bronze now to finish most, if not all, of the bronze machines, and we're going to be doing that next because I'd really like to get some steel um, so we can make flint and steel and go into the nether. We need to make a steel pickaxe because steel pickaxe allows us to mine obsidian. Um, and we're going to need also that to get into the nether. So, all right, well, let me get situated and let's get started crafting. Be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So the first item on our agenda is a sturdy grinder. Simply type in sturdy into the NEI here. Find the recipe up here on the right-hand side. Grinding up of ores and also giving byproducts. The only reason we really need to do this is because the byproducts that this thing gives you can't really find in the game elsewhere. So I haven't really got this far where to, to be uh, needing to use the byproduct, but we're going to build it anyways because in a way this is also a how-to Greg Tech tutorial. So let's go ahead and build this. We're going to need one diamond, hammer, and our wrench like everything else along with a bunch of bronze which we've gone through these recipes before 
So let me go ahead and craft all these sub recipes and then we'll come back and show you the, cre the actual creating of the sturdy grinder. Be right back. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. Um, we got we got some people on the server with us today. We've got uh, Cloud TNT. He's actually on comms with us. Say what's up. What's up? All right. We also have Devin Rose. He's over at his house and um, doing big things over there. And I stopped by his house the other day. And he's making some very big progress. He's got a big tree farm going. And uh, yeah, he's pretty good at this game. Actually, he's like my dictionary when I seem to have a problem with something. I just throw it out to him, and he kind of he has some ideas. Okay, so we're down here in my basement, and we've seen that I've added some pipes here. This is because I've turned these machines off. You can see there's no fire, but they're filled with steam. Um, they were just making too much noise, and these tanks are holding steam. So I figure, you know, I could fill these tanks up, I could turn these off, and when I start using these machines heavily, I could just turn them on, and hopefully by the time my tanks run out of steam, these things have built up some heat and are making steam. So right now, uh, we're just going to make a bunch of copper plates which doesn't seem to be working. Probably because I need a way to take the steam out of the tanks. Mm. Let me get some charcoal. Let me get these things running and we'll go f we'll go with there. We'll go with that. Okay, be right back guys when this when that forge hammer is ready. Okay, as a matter of fact, guys, I think I I might have stumbled upon an idea of why it's not working. It's cuz maybe these vents are full which is not letting this ex these uh, gases escape from here, so sounds like it's working now. Let me take the rest of these off. So I'm not sure how to get these steam out of tanks, but we'll figure it out eventually. In the meantime, we'll let this uh, keep generating enough steam for itself. Alright, so we have 18 plates. Let me go up there and craft the rest of the stuff. Okay, well let's check out this recipe now. Put this thing together. Put a diamond here. Diamond here, two bronze gears, two bronze plates, some pistons. Notice I built a bunch of pistons because we're just going to need them. Alright, well let's go put this down and show you how it works. Let's grab some more. Place it down. Right click on the machine. Here's our interface. Just like the forge hammer, you have two inputs and two outputs. So let's just stick some iron in there, and it's going to take a while to grind. Now, this doesn't double your ores like the smeltery does or any other mods, but it does give you a 10% chance to get the byproduct, and that's kind of why we're doing this. We might not get it, but essentially this is just going to give us some iron crushed dirt, and um, we will put that into the next item that we build which is the steam furnace. So let's go and build that. When I'm ready, I'll be right back. All right, well, as you can see, here's the recipe. Type in steam in the NEI. You'll find it into the second uh, copper-looking machine next to the small coal boiler. And we're going to need another, uh, you know, bronze machine hull, uh, some bronze plates, a furnace, and some bricks. So let me get that stuff crafted, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we've made our components. Let's just put it in the right configuration and get this thing built. We'll go place it and see how it works. After utilizing all the recipe ingredients, we now have the steam furnace. steam 
furnace there. Let's go ahead and right click on it, look at the interface. Again, just like the other machines, you have two inputs and two outputs. Let's go to our sturdy grinder. We have now crushed iron, and it will cook up the crushed iron and make iron ingots. Pretty cool. It's not nearly as fast as the other stuff or the other mods, and it's running off coal and uh, water and steam, which is very, very efficient. Let's get these things cooking. It's about the only thing it has for it that it's very efficient, but it is very, very slow. So now we can make our plates, we could crush our ores, and then we could smelt them into ingots. If you didn't know Tinker's Construct, or if maybe you don't even have that mod installed, you can still use this process to make your stuff go in the beginning. Next item on the list, let's just take a look. Let's make the steam smelter, how about that? The steam smelter is really cool because it allows us to take two alloys or two metals, smelt them together, and come up with a different one. Instead of waiting for the, the um, smeltery to do it, we can now do it one at a time or whatever. So we can make like furious me we can make um, iron and furious metal into invar ingots in that machine and, and um, electrum I think is gold and silver so let's go ahead and craft that. Let's check the look at the recipe. Basically it's two steam furnaces which is what we've done before just now. Three bricks, three copper plates. So let me go ahead and get those crafted the two furnaces and the bricks and then we'll come back and show you the rest of it here okay so here's the recipe I've got everything crafted uh, we have our bricks we have our bronze machine furnace notice why we've taken the furnaces down off the wall the plates and the wrench give us our two steam furnaces and I think we still have enough for our smelter so let's go ahead and put our furnaces here our wrench here three bronze plates there and three bricks there, and that gives us our steam smelter. So let's go place that and show you how it works by taking, let's just say, one gold, one silver, and maybe three copper, one tin, and let's see what else we can make. Do we have any furious metal? Probably not. We have Invar already. Now let's just go with that and show you how it works. Looks like I can hear a visitor coming up from behind us here. Who goes there? Oh, look who's outside. Hey, hey, hey. What's that on your head? Purple creeper? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Come and take a look. I'm just going to go install this machine real quick. If you want to get to my basement, simply stand on this block right here. It's pretty cold. Called an elevator. Just hit shift. Boom. <laughs> so this is the basement this is just where I got my bronze machine so far and uh, we're going to place the steam smelter as you can see it kind of matches the steam furnace with the bricks um, the same interface as you noticed on the other ones you got two inputs and two outputs so let's give this a check here let's put a gold indigo in there and a silver and if it turns on then that's a valid recipe which it is and we're not going to wait we're just going to load up the next recipe and see if it makes bronze after that Cool, we got two electromagnets out of it. Perfect. We'll watch this one craft. Make sure that it gets going. Now you can see how loud this is, so I mean it's probably about the only annoying thing about it. It does take some time, guys, so be prepared. Plan your builds ahead, start the stuff before you need them. Okay, there we go. We got our bronze ingot. So that's why the steam smelter is so useful. Let's get out of the basement. Go put our resources away. Oh, we put all this charcoal away really. So what's next on the agenda? Hmm. We've already built the smelter, the, the furnace. 
Let's build the steam compressor next. Steam compressor, two pistons, a machine hull. We can do this, one gear. So let's go ahead and craft it now. I might even have all the all enough recipes with us to go ahead and do it without pausing the video. Just make some spokes. Gonna need four of them. Machine hull, very simple. Check our compressor, we're going to need two pistons. And is that it? I think that's it. Let's throw the recipe in here and see if we can complete it. Alright, so let's show you what this stuff does. And I will show you with redstone. See, Greg Tech it changes some of the recipes. Um, you can't just compress anything now in the nine by, or the three by three grid in your crafting bench. You have to now use a compressor at Greg Tech. So you kind of have to go through this stuff in order to do some other recipes because pretty soon some of the machines you want to use, like maybe it's a ledge stone energy cell, it's going to take a block of redstone. Same interface, two inputs, two outputs. You put enough in one side, it takes what, what it needs. In this case, it took nine redstone, and it's hopefully going to create a redstone block. Alright, just about finished now. There it is, one redstone block, so the compressor, really, really neat. Now that we have the compressor built, um, before we move on to any other machines, there's a piece of armor that I like to make, and it's called a composite vest. If you don't know what that is, let me just tell you, it's overlooked many, many times. Most people don't use it that often. And if you have this composite vest with leg with metal or iron leggings, you pretty much will never die from a creep creeper explosion. Composite. Here it is right here. It's going to take advanced alloys, leather tunic, and an iron chest plate. The leather tunic is going to take us a while to get, but I will start a cow farm in preparation for this. However, with the compressor, we can now make mixed metals, or we can take mixed metals, which is plates, Remember, we have to use plates, which is iron, bronze, and tin, so we'll get some of those made, enough to make six um, advanced alloys. So let me get some stuff going. Let me go find some cows by using my safari nets that I've found throughout the world. We'll bring them back here, stick them in a pen, and start uh, breeding them so we can uh, start killing them and having their hides for leather. All right, see you soon. All right, YouTube. Well, basically, I figured I might as well show you the recipe for making these safari nets, even though you can't find them in the world. I'm better off just showing you. Now, you can make one that's reusable, but that takes ender pearls and a gas tier. I'm not even sure if I have all that. Let's just double check. Because if I do, I'm definitely going to want to use... Oh, I have a tier. Oh, I need one more ender pearl. Let's just go see in our ender pearl farm if we've got any extras. Not quite. Not quite. In fact, I think we'll wait for that because I don't want to waste all the leather on um, safari nets. So let's just go so show you the recipe anyways. For a string, a piece of leather, and a slime ball in this configuration will give you one use safari net. Once I make our uh, safari net that's reusable, the mechanic on capturing whatever you safari netted works the same for this reusable safari net and the single use safari net. So once that happens, I'll explain how it works. Okay, be right back. All right, YouTube. Uh, remember, I said we're going to be making those alloys for this composite vest. Well, let's get some stuff smashing. We need six bronze plates, six iron plates. And six tin. That's twelve each. Okay. Now we got our six. Let's go back to our crafting table. Make these alloy ingots and get them in the compressor. I'm just 
to adjust the circuitry. Uh, that works. We've got six. Come to our compressor, two inputs, two outputs. Throw our uh, mixed metal ingot in there. It's going to pop out as an advanced alloy. All we need now is a chest plate and leather tunic. We'll do that a little bit later. All right, guys. Um, well, I know what we're going to have to do next, and that is to run along the landscape looking for a very specific type of tree. This is where I could find them. Let's just run down here. We could visit our good buddy down there and uh, take some of that wood. So let's go ahead and run over there. Should I do this with you on camera? Probably not. So I will be back when I get in the general area to show you what I'm looking for. All right, we're back. Well, look at this. Turns out that this house that we found earlier is Cloud's house. He looks like he's getting into Tinker's Construct, although he's not available right now. We will uh, get what we came here for. Let's go search around. We don't need to be in the jungle. We want to remain in the swamp. Uh, there's one across the water. That's right. We're looking for rubber trees. Not just the wood. We don't necessarily need the wood. We will kind of want the saplings. So let's couple a couple. Let's cut a couple down and get the leaves despawning so we can get some saplings. Don't need to clear the whole forest, but we'll just clear these three, four, five, and um, collect the saplings, and we'll go back to the pack. All right, guys. So we just uh, came back from Cloud's house area. We found some rubber trees. We have some rubber wood, rubber tree saplings, and some what is it? Sticky resin, I think. I'm not exactly sure where I put it. To be honest with you. There it is. Sticky resin. Now what we need to do is build a extractor. Squeezing extractor. To be exact. In this case we need two pistons. And I think we have some made already. Let's just confirm that. Sure do. We need a, a, a bronze machine hull which takes eight plates. I think we have one. So we need more. Let's go check to see if our forge hammer is made any. Sure thing. We got 12. Okay. Let's go ahead and craft that real quick. Okay. What else are we going to need? Pretty much it. Let's just throw this in the crafting table and see if we have enough for everything. All right. Let's grab our sticky resin. Now, if you didn't know, um, well, you probably didn't. Maybe you did. For these that play Greg Tech, Greg Tech makes it so you can't cook sticky resin in the furnaces anymore. You have to use the extractor. So you right-click on it. Same. Um, Two input, the same two out, same two outputs. Let's throw our sticky resin in there, and let's see what it gives us. Okay, gave us some rubber pulp. And with this stuff, we can throw it into the furnace now, and it should give us our rubber that we are accustomed to seeing. And sorry that uh, my little portrait's not on the screen anymore. There's a driver that was causing my computer to crash in blue screen uh, with my Logitech cam, so um, it's going to be off for a while, maybe indefinitely, I don't know. Okay, so we got a rubber bar, actually. Interesting. We'll let that cook up, we'll, we'll let the rest of this cook up, and maybe cook the rest of this in a regular furnace and see what happens. See what this rubber bar can give us. Oh, we can make conveyor belts. Oh, I got an idea for those, too. 
syringes, raw plastic, rubber sheets, oh, a scuba helmet, that's kind of neat, but we could, we could form into a squid, no, this is obsolete, they should take that uh, squid thing out too, the whole morphing thing is just conflicting with everything in the game, it seems like. We can make our copper cable with this rubber bar. We can make all the different types of cables. Assembly machine can make stuff. I don't know what any of this stuff does, guys. Rubber hammer. Rod. Mm. Anyways, that's why we need the extractor. And I think we don't need these. Or we take these down. We need the wrench to take this down. The very next thing that we're going to build, guys, is the blast furnace. This is what all these other machines are kind of gearing us to. Some of those machines you don't necessarily need. Um, you can get by without them because the blast furnace is what's going to give us steel. Um, the other blast furnace, like for Railcraft, that you have to go to the nether for, you can get later unless you get lucky and find steel. I have already found steel, but I'm playing cr uh, Greg Tech to play Greg Tech, so I'm going through the Bronze Age to do it. We're going to set up our blast furnace probably somewhere in here, maybe upstairs. It's not nearly as loud. And um, it's going to take a lot of bronze. It's going to take a heck of a lot of bronze, like 32 uh, bronze plated something. Let's see, bronze plate, these. 32 bronze plated brick, and that's six each, which is two bronze each. I mean, I don't know what the math is, but it's, what, 200 and something maybe? I don't know, that's just a rough guess. Let's look up the calculator. Okay, so it says... Let me bring this into the field of view here. 32 times 6 times 2. We need 384 bronze ingots. <laughs> Is that right? That might not be right. Is that right? Oh, no. Okay, now we'll divide it by 2 because it makes 2 blocks. So, divide by 2. Well, this is something wrong here. Let's try this again. 32 blocks. Now let's just do half of that. 16. Let's just do 16. Maybe that's right. 16 times 6 plates times 2 ingots. We need 192 ingots. Not sure how many we have, so let's see what we got. We don't have any more in here. Okay, alright. So we have 99. So we need 100 and... I don't know. 93 or something? 95? 105? 107. Something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm just going to start making some more, which means I'm probably going to have to go do some more mining. Um, well, I got 16 down there. I have an idea. Easier way to count. Let's just we got 115. So if we minus 15 from 90 gives us 75, 77. So we need 77 more of these things. And so let me go down and get some mining done, and I'll be back. All right, pretty successful run. We got 45 or something like that bronze ingots. Um, that's with 18 blocks of copper and six blocks of tin. So we'll let this melt up. And we'll reconfigure or recalculate how much we need, and then we'll go out and get some more. All right. Be back in a little bit. All right. So I think we just need about 20 more or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and s smelt some of the stuff we've already got. I think that's going to be enough, but we'll find out. And then uh, we're also going to need to build a blast furnace. And 
this is going to be a couple more plates, so eight more, and some more bricks, which I know I'm not going to have enough. I might have one brick left, but I need three more brick blocks, so let's just see what we have as far as regular clay bricks, which I don't think we have any. So let's go ahead and prep to make some. I got, I got stone cooking in there, so let's go throw this in the uh, steam furnace. We're wasting steam anyways. build in the future, go ahead and make yourself some uh, clay blocks. This is the clay block you're going to need. Probably four is going to be enough. So just get those and set them aside. As they will work. In case we need more, I'll throw some now into my resource bucket here. Alrighty, so um, let's check to see where we are here. Turn this off momentarily so we don't start Okay, it's gone now. Okay, we've got 20 in there. 36, that's 56. With what's on us, it should be enough. Alright, so let me give a plan to attack to this. We'll probably build a glass furnace first, but let me make sure I got everything, and then I'll craft it on camera, and then we'll get our glass furnace built. Be back in a little bit. So there's a correction to be made. We're going to need a whole stack of clay cooked, the entire stack that we had set aside. And we already took 16 out of that one, so we're just going to grab 16 more here. Just going to cook 48 more, put that in there. Alright, when that's done cooking, I'll bring you guys back in. I thought while we're waiting for the rest of that stuff to cook, I picked up the rubber pulp and we were going to try to cook it in one of our furnaces here. Let's see where we're at. The hell, who cares? <coughs> Let's see what happens. Will this turn into the rubber that we are accustomed to seeing? Nope. Okay, so I guess not. No big deal though. It still works. Alright, well, so far, for, uh, so much for our experiment. At least we know the outcome. Alright, back to what we were doing. Alright, real quick, I just wanted to show you that the Thumbcraft room is coming along. Between takes, I've been bringing a stack or two of uh, a stone brick out here and laying it down. So, uh, I'm going to keep working on it, you know. Slowly but surely. We're still a couple episodes from really getting deep into Thumbcraft, but while things are cooking, I like to stay busy. So, you know, that's what's going on. I'll keep doing this and uh, bring you guys back in when it's time to craft that blast furnace. Time to craft that blast furnace. Alright guys, first things first. Blast furnace. Let's get this thing built right now. Just need a wrench. Which is almost out of its durability. We got our blast furnace next. It's going to be the... Uh, bronze plated bricks. I still got the bricks cooking and they're still uh, smashing the plates so we're getting there. Be right. Hey YouTube, okay welcome back. Uh, this is what's happening. We've got 16 plates in each section, 16 bricks in each section, and we got a bronze hammer who might not even have enough for us to do what we gotta do, but let's try. Alright, so we got our blast furnace. We've got our pieces to our um, blast furnace, so let's go see if we could get this thing to cook. I've been told to keep this thing away from anything wood. So this is how it's done. You're going to need a room at least four tall. And three as the base. It's a multi block structure. All sides need to have these blocks except for the center. Uh, even the center all the way up. There we go. And by placing the last furnace here, it should work. Yep, it works. So we right click and now we have our interface. This takes coal, I guess, uh, coal coke maybe, and charcoal, and iron. So we're going to throw iron in there. And I think a whole stack of coal will make 16 steel ingots. So let's just grab a stack of iron. 
and let's stack a uh, stack of coal or charcoal. Come in here. We will chuck the iron in this slot, and we will chuck the coal in this slot. And this takes a long time, so just be prepared to wait a little bit. And there's going to be a byproduct here and there, so I guess that's fine. So now we're making steel. Yay! Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. We've gotten all the way through the Bronze Age. We are now going to prepare ourselves to go into the Nether to start getting better materials for better tools. We might even make a sword. Who knows? But, uh, hey, guys, thanks for hanging out. If you like what I'm doing, great. If you think it's funny when I screw up when I speak the English language, say something. Thumbs up. Um, if this is good, if it's bad, if you don't if you don't care, anything helps. I appreciate it. Anyways, looking forward to making more videos. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care, guys.